when it comes to genetics, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, my mum had this, my grandma had this, um, I'm going to get it, you know. And, and it's just, it's crazy because research shows that genes have less than 2 to 3% effect on anyone getting cancer or any kind of disease. So there's a, an awesome quote um, that we came across. And, and it's something like this, genes put, load the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. So it's actually the lifestyle that we lead that ends or results in us getting cancer or not. So if your grandma and your great-grandma and your mom or whatever might have happened had breast cancer or prostate cancer or whatever it might be, just because that happened doesn't mean it's going to happen to you at all. So um, can you bring up this picture? This is a picture of a 27-year-old woman who chose to have a double mastectomy because she had a test that told her that she had a bad gene in her body which would make her more prone to getting breast cancer. So she chose to remove her breasts than just live a healthy lifestyle. And that's how scared people are about this now. It's crazy. Like chopping bits of our bodies off so that we don't get cancer. Is this, is this insane? Like, do you, what do you think about this? Mm. It's crazy, isn't it? So um, for me, you know, a lot of people do get scared when it comes to genes. Now, Anthony's spoken um, before about the Okinawans. We know about the Okinawans are one of the most longest lived cultures on the world. They're actually in Japan. So they have actually, the, they're so blessed, they've got the strongest genes on the planet. Guess what's happening to the younger Okinawan generation as they start to um, adopt a Western lifestyle? They actually have the highest levels of obesity, heart disease and cancer in Japan. So it has nothing to do with your genes, but everything to do with the lifestyle that you choose, what you put in your body, what you put on your body and what you put in your mind. So as we go through tonight, um, <coughs> think about, everyone knows the game Russian Roulette. Now some of us aren't so fortunate, and let's say, you know, there's a cylinder <coughs> or whatever you call that, that you load the bullets into. Barrel. A barrel. No, it's not in a barrel. Oh. Chamber. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> chamber. And let's say, you know, it's a hundred bullet chamber. Now some of us, we might have 90 bullets in our chamber. In other words, we've got a lot of genes that aren't great. Now, some of us might be blessed, and as Kate said, like the Okinawans, and they've got two bullets in that. But the thing is this, the more you pull the trigger, does that make sense? Because you can't control the genes. Does that make sense? You need to decrease pulling the trigger. And so the lifestyle changes we're making, for some of you, you'd get away with doing a lot of them for most of your life and have no consequence. The challenge is you don't know which ones to do and what ones are going to kill you. Does that make sense? And sure, there's going to, science will catch up. Science is starting to show. There's tests you can do to go, you've got this gene, you've got this gene, you're very prone to these things. You really need to avoid that. For most of it at this point in time, we don't know that. So the goal is to reduce the risk factor as much as we can. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the downside at the moment with science, though, it's saying, oh, you're more prone to breast cancer, so this is what people are choosing to do. So they're not giving them the lifestyle choices that they can make.